gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five-star silver character gameplay preview video. And today we got Hulk Hogan, Techno Mania, and uh, yeah, looking pretty awesome, like uh, mutated uh, Metal Arms version of Hollywood Hogan here. Yet another Hogan that I'll probably never have because I can never get Hogan, but. Nonetheless, I'll keep trying. Anyways, he's got no special gear. He is a technician. Technomania. Let's take a look inside the poster here. He's a coach for up to 15% more health at 20,000. So, he can get you some extra health buff. He's got the mutants link for starting MP reduced by 3 for your opponent. And the mutating up is the four-star move, and the mutated axe bomber is the five-star move. So, let's take a look at the first move set, three-star move set. We got a finisher, mutated running leg drop, 10 charge, deal 117,000 damage, choose 10 gems to make into black gems and pin the opponent. Then we got double black moves, mutated scoop slam, four charge, deal 50,000 damage, and choose a six-by-six six area to make into botch gems. And the mutated ground and pound. Deal 76,000 damage and make 8 botch gems into wild card gems. So, look at the entourage. I got Bray on here to hit these black moves right away. I got Titus, so I can choose extra black on the finisher. But it also shows that it's going to let me uh, make extra uh, botch into wild card gems. So, I wanted to test that out. Either way, there's not anything that makes more wild card gems. And, I mean, I could use green finisher damage on there. Something like that. I mean, there's not much that's really going to buff this moveset out because you're not generating a lot. So you could use gem damage. but um, And I got Jey Uso for green move damage and Montez Ford for black move damage. 10% each there on the coaches just to kind of buff them moves up a little bit. And we out here in the Royal Rumble Tour uh, against Drew McIntyre here. 23,250 talent. Even Steven matchup. And let's see. I'm anxious to see... If we actually get to create more wildcard gems with the generation trainer on there. So, we'll find out. So, we're going to hit right away. Mutated scoop slam. 6x6 six six area into botch gems. And then we're going to go. This says 12 into wildcard here. Let's see how many we get. 12 would be nice. I think we did. I think it did work. I think it did work. That was more than eight. That was more than eight. Because my practice match, I did not use that. And I thought about it in the middle. I'm like, would this work? So actually fantastic there. The finisher hits for more damage. But uh, this one just be hitting. Alright, let's do this. And let's see if we can use these botch gems to hold them down here. Let's go ahead and hit the finisher. We're going to make 14 into black. And I got an idea. Let's just go around the outside here. Watch this. <laughs> now we leave them botch gems up on the board. Now you try to kick out. Now try to kick out, chump. Ah, oh, he got lucky. You like where I was going with that, though, right? That was a pretty clever idea. Pretty clever idea. Again, 12 into wild card gems, and we're just looking for that big cascade. Little little cascades. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, keep going. 300,000 there. Not bad. Not enough botch gems to hold him, though. Again, I'm sorry to beat a dead horse, but it's like every time I do a preview, I have to mention the fact that I got no strapping medals on this guy. If we had that gem damage buffed out, double fury on there maybe, 
Uh, maybe, you know, a black move damage medals on there. So we're doing over 100k each per turn instead of what we're doing. Or even big buffing on that finisher. He'd be so much more powerful. This match might be over already had we been able to strap him up. do the same we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna keep my gems around the outside here I'm gonna try to use these botch gems to hold them down that's a zero. Oh, he come on unbelievable luck See, that would be, even if you had a, a tier 4 flat damage medal for black move damage, like, that's going to be 95k, and that's going to be 119k, like, that's substantially more damage. Double Fury there. Whew. This match certainly would have been over. Certainly would have been over if he had straps and medals on there. We would have destroyed him. This match would have been over two turns ago. Instead, it looks like it's a much more even match because we have to let him linger around forever and keep hitting his moves and keep hitting his moves. And keep hitting his moves. <clears throat> Why didn't he take the wild card? What was he doing? AI not smart. again he'll probably kick out we know how this match has been going oh he finally can't kick out all right we can try something different all right again move damage metals double fury on that that's what we're looking for that would have been way better or i mean maybe even double armor in him put honky tonk man on there instead of uh because when you got an open trainer slot like that that you don't really need so with that build there you maybe go double armor and put honky tonk man in place of titus there they might not be able to kick out of that so all right let's look at something different here so here's what we got left <clears throat> We got Mutated Steel Python, 7 charge yellow, deal 68,000 damage, and choose 6 gems to make into green. Then we got Green Move, 1 charge, Mutated Atomic Drop, deal 87,000 damage, and move the pin bar left by 5 notches. We got a 4 charge yellow, Mutating Up, deal 61,000 damage, and choose 4 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems. That will increase your green gem damage by 34% for 2 turns. And then we got the Mutated Axe Bomber. Uh, seven charge green deal 68,000 damage to choose six gems to make into yellow gems. So, um, the pin bar move, I'm probably not going to use here. I would want to use that with the move damage metal on there. That would really show it. Um, plus with a choose move, I don't know. I mean, 
we could use that, use the yellow, use it again, but without being able to do the extra damage, I don't think I can show what it's really all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, let's, let's put in the mutated steel pythons. Let's put in mutating up. And then let's put in the mutated axe bomber. So now the idea is going to be to, let's go, yellow, so we're going to go Acom. Let's put Razar on there. Oh, it's not Acom, it's Kofi now. Kofi and Razar. Um... And then let's just get green gem damage. All we can get. Oh, and an extra countdown gem here. Cena Veteran Salute's going to give you another countdown gem and some green gem damage. And then I'm going to look for Lacey, I think. Let's just put Lacey on here. Get some more green gem damage. So, let's try this one out. Now there's more combinations and everything that y'all could try. This is just basically what I'm going to show for today. These two movesets. <clears throat> the pin bar one, again, that's just one that's going to hurt my soul to not be able to put that extra damage on that. So I don't know. That one, even a percentage, because it was like 86k. So if you get a one that's like 130% more damage, that, that'd be huge. And you can hit it twice per turn. But it's going to look a lot like that first set if I try it now. So... I actually want these countdown gems to go off before. Before I use my green choose move, if you want to know the truth. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take red from him, and I'm going to wait one turn here. That's fine. He took one of my countdown gems. Now we're going to get boom, green, green buff. Choose 10 to make into green. Oh, look at that one. 587,000. Let's go. That's what we needed there. We needed that green gem damage buff. And so, like I said, without being able to move the pin meter yourself, like, that's just not gonna do the damage that this set's gonna do. So this one's way, way better for the time being here. Alright, we're just gonna hit. We'll let him hit us once. It's fine. I could try to play that there and drop it off just short, but it's fine. Y'all know I don't like to think too much, so... What? Okay, I was gonna be like, are you kidding me? Kinda need those to go off before. I mean, I could have, I could have again there. I could have chose, got to the green without moving the pin meter all the way, and then he's gonna take it anyways. That's kind of lame. 
If this takes my other two countdown gems, I'm gonna freak out. Unbelievable. And I feel like I blew that match. Gotta hit this. Close there, didn't get up to enough. I wish I could cascade greens here or something with I uh, while I got that buff on, but I really can't. Alright, next turn I have that yellow ready and we'll be, should be able to finish him next turn. Although I kind of played it wrong and I let him hang around longer than he should have. Oh, here we go again. He's playing the match perfect too and I'm playing the match super bad. That's the only problem with this set. If the countdown gem move was green, I think this set would flow way better. But because every time you feel yellow, you hit this, you, you like want to waste a turn before you hit the other one. But every time in this match, he's got his moves charged. So like I can't afford to wait around. Thirty-five. Look, he's out again. This is insane. His moves are ready to go again. There, finally. It takes an entire match to get a Cascade Chain to go off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but... Y'all can see there, you're just gonna have to play it right. Like, you need to get them countdown gems down, and you need to wait a turn before you hit the other yellow move. Or you need to make a... But, but the yellow move there chooses the green. So that's what you need to hit the damage big. So you're just going to have to figure out how to time it exactly and play it just perfectly. And with straps and medals on there, Hogan's going to be absolutely awesome. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, best of luck out there getting your hands on Mutant Hulk Hogan. And DJ is due. It's finally time. I think I should get this Hulk Hogan. So I hope I get him. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you consider subscribing? There's a red button right underneath this video player. So subscribe. Just click on that for me. And while you're down there, drop an elbow right on that thumbs up button for me. Those things are free to you. They take like two seconds and they help me out tremendously. So why wouldn't you do that? 
And until next time, y'all.